Hey guys, today I'm doing a uh, review of a Star Trek uh, model kit and uh, today I've got here the Polar Lights 1000 scale Romulan Battlecruiser snap together kit and you're saying right off the bat, wait a minute, that's a Klingon Battlecruiser but this particular model kit um, is from uh, a certain episode uh, called the Enterprise Incident uh, where um, Captain Kirk uh, purposely flies the Enterprise into the neutral zone and what happens is they get surrounded by a few of these uh, converted Klingon uh, battlecruisers uh, that were I guess around that time uh, the Romulans and the Klingons were um, allies so the Kl Romulans and the Klingons were using each other's ships I guess so the Romulans were uh, in this particular episode had um, some of these uh, Klingon uh, D7 battlecruisers outfitted with uh, their cloaking technology along with of course you can see the Romulan insignia there but uh, so yeah that explains why you see a Klingon battlecruiser instead of like a Romulan warbird but it's, it's uh, a a Romulan uh, ship that uh, that was used by the the Romulans but actually it's a Klingon battlecruiser so that sound kinda confusing but uh anyways yeah so um basically I picked up this kid uh today uh while I was waiting for my uh, girlfriend to finish work I was just uh cruising around the uh, um the toy area and I was looking at some of the model kits and there's a bunch of airplane car kits uh, a couple of helicopter kits, some ship, uh, naval ship kits, and right behind uh, one of the kits was this guy right here. So I, uh, and this was like the Lone Star Trek uh, model kit. So basically, I had to pick her up. You know, it was meant to be. I mean, one Star Trek model kit, and then the rest. I think maybe about 15 of them were all ass other assorted. So this was a Lone Star Trek model kit. So it was a sign I had to go pick her up. I guess right, but. Uh, Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging real quick. Real nice graphic picture of the Romulan uh, Klingon slash Battlecruiser. Another nice picture of her there. Alright. Oops, flip it back on this side. And then basically we got the uh, look at Romulan, uh, Bur uh, Romulan bird water slide decals. Nice underside picture there. And as you can see, the Enterprise, and you got a few of the surrounded by a few of these uh, transformed uh, Klingon uh, battle cruisers. But um, basically, there's a little bio, and it just tells you uh, that about the that episode. I believe the episode is in season three. If you want to. Uh, uh, go ahead and watch that episode again. It's actually a really good episode. <clears throat> I won't go too much detail, but uh, Captain Kirk succeeds. He uh, uh, actually captures the the cloaking technology from the the Romulans in that ep particular episode. But uh, okay, I'm just gonna read the bottom bio here. This one, that's the top here. Just says talks about that particular episode. Um, basically, the the model kit brings the Romulan battle cruiser to a uh, life in a miniature form. At 1 1,000 scale, the model snaps together to build a 9.5 uh, inch long ship. The Romulan signature warbird motif, along with the optional Romulan and Klingon markings, comprise of over 30 plastic parts. The kit also comes with a dome display base with a wire support that allows, you, allows a model to be uh, displayed at different uh, variety of angles. And you can see the little display stand there. Okay, let's go ahead take a look at the kit real quick. If I can get the box off here. Kind of hard to do it with one hand and holding your camera on the other. Okay, so anyways, got the, looks like they got the display stand. Another parts of the kit. In the main assembly there. Got 
little uh, round models of little flyer there and then of course we've got the instruction kit and pretty basic you know there's not too many there's about 30 pieces and you can uh, on the back it shows a uh, decaling there I'm not quite sure um, you can I guess do both versions you got the Romulan here and then you got the the standard Klingon version uh, which uh, which way I'm gonna go uh, kinda leaning on doing the the Warbird I mean doing the Romulan version because that's kinda cool a little uh, round two um, marketing flyer and then we oh, nice uh, bright uh, Warbird decals and there's a Klingon uh, decal there so at least it gives you an option you know you can do either or and that's about it yep that's it so looks like a pretty simple model kit you know it's a snap together I mean um, you might have to do some gluing here and there it's already pre-painted to the color um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna paint this model or not um, if I do have some uh, some of the certain grays that I like I might do a little modern painter uh, painter up a little bit but uh, yeah so other than that, that's pretty much it that's the model kit there uh, picked up for a fair price it was like uh, fifteen dollars so not a bad uh, price for this little uh, model kit but all right, so um, I'm gonna get probably get started on her in a in a day or so. Uh, like I said, I haven't decided whether or not I'm, if I'm gonna uh, fully paint her, um, but uh, uh, we'll see. And I'm quite I'm still debating on which decals I'm gonna use. Kind of looks cool. I think I might do the Romulan version. But okay, guys, um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, let me know. Um, other than that, I will get started on this kit and uh, keep you posted on the build up. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, oh, before I leave, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, uh, New Time Travel Hyman eighty eight. Uh, he's giving me some uh, pretty cool shout outs, so I've, I'm returning a favor uh, for all you Star Trek uh, kit fans or collectors out there. Uh, check out his channel. He's got a bunch of uh, kits that he's doing as well. So uh, if you're into these kits and you want to check out his progress, check out his channel definitely. Alright guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Alright, we'll see you next time.